Do your patients bloat after eating a high carbohydrate meal? Because that's one of the best indicators of SIBO. And if they bloat when they take probiotics, they almost certainly have SIBO. As you know, SIBO can be difficult to treat and often returns. So clinicians are asking some really good questions about the application of the SBO kit designed to restore health to the microbiome throughout the entire GI tract. Many of you have the Tuesday Minute texted to you each week and listen to it as you drive to work. So this is a perfect way to fine tune the clinical utilization of the three products in the kit. My thanks to Dr. Arlen Hill, who supplied many of the questions and clinical considerations in this segment. As discussed in a previous video, SIBO just doesn't mean bacterial overgrowth, but now researchers are saying CFO, small intestinal fungal overgrowth, can complicate the clinical picture as well. The SBO kit was born based on the clinical research, the clinical feedback from doctors across the country over the last 15 years regarding the use of the three products individually and in combination. The SBO kit includes a 30-day supply of ADP for bacteria, amoebas, and yeast, FC Cytal for bacteria and resistant stubborn yeast forms, and dysbiocide for small worms and bacteria. You can see from this brief description that the SBO kit can be used for multiple dysbiotic organisms other than bacteria in the small bowel. Traditionally, ADP, FC Cytal, and dysbiocide have all been used for dysbiotic organisms in the stomach, small and large intestine. Let's dive into some questions. Can a known H. pylori infection limit the effectiveness of treatment? H. pylori is often seen with SIBO. In fact, H. pylori overgrowth can contribute to the dysfunction of the stomach that leads to the onset of SIBO. Since the antimicrobials and the SBO kit can also address an H. pylori overgrowth, it's not necessary to address the H. pylori infection then supplement another round of different antimicrobials for SIBO. The SBO kit efficiently allows patients to target all problematic overgrowth simultaneously. Can the SBO kit be taken on an ongoing basis? It's not recommended to take the SBO kit on an ongoing basis. 30 days of the recommended therapeutic dose is the ideal time frame. The use of the combination of antimicrobials that make up the SBO kit are expected to provide an environment that restores microbial balance. The optimal time frame is 30 days, which for the majority of patients will help them resolve the overgrowth. What recommendations should be made after completing the SBO kit? Addressing the overgrowth is only the first step in managing SIBO. Since approximately half of the patients undergoing SIBO relapse in nine months, it's critical to offer a follow-up plan that addresses the underlying causes of SIBO. This would include hydrozyme, beta plus, and 5-HTP. Hydrozyme and beta plus enhance digestion and build defense barriers against invading microbes. 5-HTP helps promote bowel motility as constipation promotes SIBO. Do I need a lab test prior to recommending the SBO kit? No, the SBO kit can be recommended based on symptoms alone. Conventionally, when SIBO is diagnosed, it's based on symptoms. One of the treatment interventions is an empirical trial of rifaximin or another antibiotic. The same strategy applies to the SBO kit. In this way, the treatment is part of the diagnostic picture. If the patient responds, an overgrowth was likely the reason. Should I expect to feel bad when using the SBO kit? No, most patients will feel better, some within days. Since the symptoms of SIBO are the result of an overgrowth, reducing this leads to an imp overall improved sense of well-being. How long should I use the kit? 30 days is the optimal time for the kit. Each bottle contains 180 tablets or capsules, the exact amount the patient needs for 30 days when taking two capsules or capsules three times a day. What should I do if the dose appears to be too much for my patient or they tend to be sensitive? While negative reactions are not the norm, nor are they expected to occur, they are occasionally a part of the clinical picture. Should this occur, the patient can reduce the dose from two tablets or capsules three times a day to a single tablet or capsule three times a day. The duration of the treatment would be extended from 30 days to 60 days. For those rare sensitive patients that need individual microbials, 
the components of the SBO kit are available individually. Can I use a SIBO kit multiple times? Yes, if a patient relapses and needs to readdress their overgrowth, the SBO kit supplies the ideal combination to target this dysbiosis again without the risk of developing long-term resistance. Can the SBO kit be used alongside antibiotics? The SBO kit has not been studied in combination with antibiotics. While it's not likely necessary to use the combination of antibiotics in the botanicals to achieve the desired outcome, studies have shown that the addition of botanicals to antibiotics is complementary. I hope you're asking every patient if high carbohydrate meals are causing bloating, because according to some researchers, SIBO may be affecting upwards of 22% of your clients, and the SBO kit may supply some of the much needed answers to tough questions. Thanks for watching. I look forward to being with you again next Tuesday.